Now more than ever, aging parents and grandparents want to stay in their homes, but many need a little help. Family and friends can't always step in, but Home Helpers of Greater Milwaukee offers private duty home care and skilled nursing as well. Tim Byerly is the owner and CEO, and we welcome you to the Morning Blind. Good morning, Tim. Hey, good Tim. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me today, Molly and Tiffany. I, I appreciate this opportunity. Absolutely. You know, I think this is a really hot and, and important topic right now. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do at Home Helpers. Well, OK, I'll, I'll, I'll first kind of frame it. You know, it took me 30 years uh, to figure out that other than my family, um, I was looking for my true passion, and that is to help other people, people who need help. And so that's really um, how we got into this business. And it was because of um, helping my wife's grandmother, uh, Wilma Francis, we call her Grana, mm -hmm. and we saw firsthand mm -hmm. the caring and compassion that Grana received from her caregivers. And this is back in central Indiana. But I thought it would be really meaningful uh, for me to bring this kind of service and help to the local community here in Milwaukee. That was nine years that's, ago. That's so great that you have that personal reason for offering this type of home care, which I think is wonderful. There are a lot of entities that provide home care. Um, and I'm wondering what you think makes home helpers of greater Milwaukee different from the rest. Well, that's a great question. Um, and when I, when I looked at this, there are over 160 home care companies in the four counties we do business, which is Milwaukee, Waukesha, Washington, and Ozaki County. So I knew when I was speaking with prospective clients and their families and caregivers and employees that I really need to, needed to have a, a message that resonated. And so I've come up with really three things that I speak to when I speak to those audiences. The first one is um, we believe in a fundamental approach that the people who seek our services have some sort of a medical challenge. Now, it might be physical or cognitive, emotional or behavioral, or it could be all four, and it can run the gamut from uh, simple to very acute, very complex. Given this, who better to, to help someone to lead them through a home care assessment than a registered nurse that has geriatric experience? And I can't think of a better way to start a relationship than to bring in a medical professional to help some of these families. So that's the first thing. The, um, the nurse forward, which is the concept I'm describing, is where the nurse comes in, they meet with the family, they prepare the home care uh, plan, um, they, they visit the family routinely to make sure that the cares are being provided in the way they should be and adjust it if necessary. They schedule, attend, and help transport clients to their appointments. They're on call 24-7. And since, the, the, um, since dementia is the number one disease that we see in our clients and the older Americans, Right now, and this is due to COVID, people are more uh, aware and nervous to go from a hospital to a rehab facility. Absolutely. And so what we can do is help the individual leave the hospital, come back home, and provide a combination of services that would be both private duty home care and home health so they can bring in the therapy, the physical therapy, the occupational therapy, the speech therapy to help them. So uh, these are, that's the second thing that we really try to uh, focus on. And then we integrate um, our nurse forward approach with kind of a, a holistic uh, look at the patient. And our nurses do this, of course, but they look at safety. And right now safety is paramount. So we have the needed uh, personal protective equipment, PPE, you've probably heard that acronym recently, um, to ensure the safety of the client. They also look at it from a nutrition and a hydration perspective, a physical exercise, a mental exercise, emotional and social. So it really encapsulates the whole uh, individual when uh, they do sit down to provide the care. The third thing, our secret sauce is truly our caregivers. And the reason why I believe this is we hire for compassion and likability. We hire for that because it's in the DNA. It's not something that you can necessarily teach. We then build on this with skill development, both from our nurses and online classes, to really prepare our caregivers to be as successful as possible when they go out to help the clients. Skill development is an absolute imperative uh, with home helpers. I think those are incredible um, 
you know, principles and, and missions that you put forth. And it's so clear to us that you, you genuinely care about the people you're helping. And I, yes. I think that's what people want to know is, you know, when you're considering that difference, the contrast between community living, senior living and home care, what those differences are. And I think you really nailed how clear they are. Well, they are. And, um, Community, senior community living still has a, a very strong presence and place in uh, helping older Americans. But if I were to, to maybe point out the positives of both, you know, a, a senior living community, I think, is for someone who is looking for socialization, activities, group dinners, arts and crafts, the fine china, the things like that that you can find in, in many wonderful senior communities. However, if someone you know, someone you love, truly needs help, there is really no other uh, option to look at than one-on-one -on -one personalized care where a nurse with geriatric experience builds a care plan, they bring in integrated health uh, objectives, and then they also train and supervise the nurses. So it really depends on what the family is looking for. But if someone needs help to continue to live safely in their home, and a home can be a traditional home, an apartment, a senior living community even, then they need to call a company like Home Helpers. We can come in and provide that care for them. Love that. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tim. It was really nice to get to know your business. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. And you can Thanks, get a free Tim. assessment right now. If you call for a free assessment with a registered nurse through Home Helpers, and again, they're all ready and COVID prepared, it's 262 365-1443, and again, that's Home Helpers.